Hello and welcome to our new stable release video. Don't hesitate and download it today. Version 204. Change Log. Added Refund Transaction Option. We've added an easier method to refund payments, that way you will be able to swiftly transfer back funds if needed. We will create another video tutorial to dive deeper into how you can set this up. So stay tuned. Added Telegram Notifications Support In this version, we've added long-awaited functionality that will make your experience of using OneStream a treat. You'll be able to send notifications to groups or users. We have added an article on how to set it up in our knowledge base. Added settings to detect leaking FFmpeg processes. We have implemented monitoring of the RAM usage of the FFmpeg processes so we can detect potential RAM leakages. Optimizations, manage bouquets, manage users. We've achieved improvement in the loading times of the Manage Bouquets and Manage Users pages. Added option to set TMDB matching percent less than 80 for watch folder. We have extended our options for TMDB matching percentages to ease the assignment of TMDB data to your content. Now you can experiment and find what's best for your files. Added option to freeze heavy processes for some time. We added a nifty tool that can temporarily pause heavy resource tasks that run on your background if you need your resources due to abnormal traffic like football games or events. Added templates with settings for performance. We have added a preset of profiles to ease the configuration of your streaming platform. Based on several factors, you can select the one that fits your specific needs. Improved TV underscore archive size calculation. We have added an additional option for TV archive size calculation that utilizes a pre-written size file in the archives directory. Added validation to UUID in middleware. We've added an additional validation method in the middleware of the panel, we are continuing to be the safest on the market. Added EPG Auto Match feature. When using this new functionality you will receive a suggested match to your streams for their EPGs, if no match can be found you will have the freedom to select manually. added sub-reseller connections and users to the dashboard. These new cards will present you with the overall details and statistics of subscriptions and connections of your sub-resellers. UI Improvement Updates Page We are continuing with migrating the panel's pages into React.js This version is the Updates Page. Translations Dashboard, Data Table, Movies We have extracted all translation keys from the pages and they can be now fully translated. In this case, for example, we used the word bouquet. Web player added copy and play on VLC. We've added an option to copy the link of the VOD, stream, or episode in order to run it in any player you may have. These versions bug fixes. Fixed missing date time format to time shift. Fixed wrong bitrate sometimes displayed on managed streams. Fixed incompatibility of direct source and file cache. Fixed default order for movies. Fixed mass edit error when filter by no category. Fixed error on file cache when stream has custom underscore proxy. Fixed SQL error when fail to create series in watch folder. Fixed bulk actions on managed movies hitting Nginx rate limit. Fixed Enigma devices getting created as regular line. Fixed filters on managed packages. Wait no more and get your one stream license today. Thank you for watching.